You know, guys, people always ask me, or you know, I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of clients ask me, hey, Josh, when's the best time to buy? You know, when's the best time, you know, to sell? And I was like, that's all relative, honestly, to like what your situation, if you're looking to buy, you know, obviously, one, do you have the finances or the financial capability, you know, to do so? Um, do you need, you know, financial assistance for like the down payment? Do we need to set you up with a program? Do we need to, you know, fix your and boost up your credit score, you know, so you get the best rate and get the best and can fit you with the best, um, you know, situation or program that's out there for a financial lender? Um, if you're looking to sell, you know, what's the condition of the home? Are you guys ready to sell? Is the family ready for the transition? Do you guys need to wait, you know, until the school year is over or when the school year starts? Um, are you relocating? So it all really depends on what your situation is. Um, and that's why I like to have a discussion. That's why I like to always sit down and, you know, really see exactly how we can help and what works out best for you. Because it's not about me. It's about you, the individual, and it's about you and the family and how um, we can cater things to work out in the best ways, you know, for your timeline. Uh, so it's not a, a stress or a burden on you. I like to make it as seamless as possible um, so we can get through this, you know, and have a good experience. But if you guys are looking to buy, um, here's some little tips that I have for you. Obviously, you need to get pre-qualified. We need to get you set up. We need to have a discussion and see exactly where you are financially. Uh, some slow times, this works out for buyers and sellers, some slow times in the markets are in the summer. You generally do see some slowing. Um, and then also in the, um, in the winter, like right around Thanksgiving, things really just begin to cool off. Um, so you might be able to get some potential deals there because homes have been on the market just a little bit longer. Um, and that's a good place to start there also. Like I said, it's all based on your, on your situation. If you're looking to sell, you know, we have two peaks here within Arizona um, that historically speaking and the stats show that our peaks are obviously in the spring. They usually start, you know, mid-February, usually after Super Bowl, and then it'll die down probably like towards the end of May. And then we have another peak, it's not as big as the one in the spring, uh, it usually starts probably in the end of August, all the way to September and October, and then right when you see Thanksgiving come around, it definitely does start to trickle off and die off. Um, so that's some little tips for you if you're looking to buy, if you're looking to sell. But like I said, guys, if you guys need anything, feel free to give me a call or, you know, schedule an appointment. You can go to my website or even just, you know, shoot me an email or shoot me a text. You always have access to me. If you need any additional information, there's tons of content I have on my YouTube channel. Feel free to scroll through the videos and let's see how we can help. I'm always here to serve you first. Talk to you soon.